In at the small forward position. And for Milwaukee, at small and power forward, it'll be Middleton and Giannis. Malik Beasley is out there with Damian Lillard. And it's Lopez in at the five, roaming the paint. Well, we're off to a hot start this year, Doris. Anything surprise you this season? Well, B.A., so often over the course of the summer, we'll see guys post their workout habits. Well, I have been delighted that all of that hard work seems to be paying off. Everybody seems determined to miss Flash. The Magic start out with a ball. Here's Suggs. He's guarded by Beasley. Carter, a screen on Beasley. Suggs, the pass to Carter. He's off on the layup. Anadokounmpo with it. Fultz picks him up. And the basket by Anadokounmpo. And just look at the body control. Giannis doesn't allow the contact to throw him off. Picked by Carter. Here's Wagner, shakes him. Oh, it's blocked by Lopez. Middleton passes to Beasley. To the left side wing. Lillard outside. The three ball fires in the triple. Well, that leadership from Lopez wanting to get his guys involved with his passing ability. And so Ben Carroll will bring it up for Orlando. It's a five point game. And just over a minute played here to start the game. Here's Suggs. That one falls. Nice assist by Foltz. Jalen Suggs showing you supreme confidence right there. On the catch, ready to rise and fire. Pass to Middleton. Beasley outside. Now here's Lillard. Middleton, left side. The rebound by Carter. For Orlando, they've gone one for three so far. Here's Suggs. 15 in his last outing. Pass to Carter. From behind the arc. And it's Suggs with the three. Suggs has got five. Boy, if Suggs is knocking this shot down consistently, the spacing will open up. The flat-out hustle of Wendell Carter Jr. is something you have to appreciate. I think, B.A., we can all appreciate a hard-playing big man. But you have to remember, Wendell Carter Jr. has now proven himself to be a legit threat from three. He rebounds it nightly on a consistent basis, and that offensive game is getting better and better. So it's Orlando now, following the score by Milwaukee. Van Carroll against Ana de Kumpo. Four on the clock. That one rolls around and rims out. Clean look from mid-range. Coach will probably want to run that play again. And here's Lopez. He's been a consistent contributor, averaging just over 11 a game. Talk about hitting the ground running four for five to start. For Orlando, they've gone two for five here in the first. Fultz against Lillard. Pass to Carter. Inside. Here's Ben Carroll. The nine-footers on the mark. Boy, what a great find by Carter Jr. Not a ball-stopping big man. You gotta love it. Anadokounmpo looking it over. Here's Beasley. Takes a three. The rebound by Carter. And Carroll passes to Fultz. Here's Suggs. He's guarded by Beasley. Here's Suggs. He's got five. To the inside. Wagner outside. Milwaukee with the rebound. And guys, this is the first they're seeing of the Magic this year. <laughs> they swept the season series, which is very much in line with how these teams finished in the standings. Well, they're more talented, more accomplished at this point, but you can't rely on that and start taking plays off. You could get surprised. Lillard against Fultz.
to the paint. Pass to Suggs. Gets some space and buries the jumper. Suggs is... Here's Suggs. He's got 10. Picked by Carter. On and a Kumpo with the block. Yeah, such an imposing defensive force. Giannis with the great timing. On... And so Lillard will bring it up for Milwaukee. The biggest lead of the game, 15 points. They come into this one having outplayed the Thunder in their last game. And the main takeaway was their accuracy from beyond the arc. An impressive performance indeed. And that explains their three-point percentage. They had more than a few players giving the defense absolute fits from range. Wagner for three. Rebounded by the Bucks. Adekupo has got rebound number five here tonight. This guy just can't find his rhythm, and you look up at the scoreboard, they absolutely need his productivity. Crowder finds Portis. Banked it in off the glass. Well, you love Crowder's willingness to distribute the basketball. His vision allows him to set his teammates beautifully. Bolts against Lillard. Now here's Fultz. The D's right on him. Carter, the pass to Suggs. Back to Fultz. That one falls. Fultz has got five points in the quarter. Well, make no mistake, Markel Fultz, because of his athletic burst, can score on the interior. That's nicely done. Fultz against Lillard. Puts up a three. It's rebounded by Wagner. One reason this game is so tight is because both teams are hitting the boards with reckless abandon. Wagner against Crowder. Now here's Wagner. He's closely guarded. Just five on the clock. Carter, a screen on Crowder. Here's Wagner. The rebound by the Bucks. And for the Berlin native, Franz Wagner. His NBA career is off to a terrific start. Yeah, at 6'10", he's extremely versatile. He's already a talented scorer at all three levels. Plus, he's able to put the ball on the floor and create for his teammates. This has not been a good period for this guy. Out of sync, not letting the game come to him. He's got to settle down and make shots. This guy has been a catalyst for them all game long. What a job leading them to this lead. Wagner with a screen. Here's Suggs. It falls. Five for 11 in the game. Yeah, Jalen Suggs has found his rhythm, and now he's keeping his foot on the gas pedal. He is leaving no doubt that the defense could have a tough night. Now here's Lillard. He's got 25. Back to Beasley. Portis the screen. Beasley, that's good. Beasley's got eight points here in the quarter. In such a rhythm right now. Feathery touch. He's lighting them up. Picked by Carter to the middle. That one falls. Nice assist by Fultz. They can see in the movement there the athleticism Wendell Carter Jr. possesses. Really solid cut after setting the screen. Fultz against Lillard. Oh, nice one-handed jam there, B.A. Hey, little exclamation point. Carter, a screen on Crowder. And it's Wagner off the drive. Another miss. Two for nine so far. And they've just built this lead by attacking the boards. Lillard against Fultz. There's contact, but Lillard slips through. Inside, Lillard can deliver. He's a skilled finisher. Up top, Carter. Pass to Wagner. On the wing, Suggs. Wagner with a screen on Beasley. Here's Suggs. He's got 12. Shoots over Portis. Suggs with the bucket. Suggs has got 14 points. Uh, Jalen Suggs has all the attributes necessary to be a three-level scorer. That means the mid-range must be pure. Show him, Jalen. Beasley, pass to Crowder. 
He's now one for two with that bucket. They're punishing those late defensive rotations, getting good looks inside throughout the half. It's a four-second differential between the shot clock and game clock. Picked by Carter. Here's Suggs. It's down. His seventh make in 13 attempts today. Displaying some solid body strength and balance. Jalen Suggs to the cup. Fultz against Lillard. Pass to Anadokounmpo. Back to Lillard. Three-pointer. The shot comes out. And so it's Milwaukee closing out this quarter with a seven-point lead. What has them in front right now, by and large, they're taking great shots. And more NB. Unstoppable, just firing on all cylinders. And at this point, it is their game to lose. They've done such a good job building the lead. Now here's Wagner. He's got 10. Carter, a screen on Anadokounmpo. Here's Wagner. And that one's good. Wagner's got eight points here in the quarter. The defense had him confused early on, but he's responded in the second half with some assertive play. Middleton looking around. Wagner with a steal. And the Magic pushing it up now. And let's swing it over to the sideline and hear from Alley. Brian Magic coach Jamal Mosley talked about the leadership of this team. He said, we're going to do it by committee. Each guy's going to have a voice on a different night. We want to build them up where there's a chemistry. And as guys rise and get their voice, they get that feeling of leadership. Brian? Yeah, that's an interesting point. All right, Alley, thank you. Pure from three-point range. Man, they're having a hard time defending the triple. That's three in a row. Here's Suggs. Middleton covering. Lillard against Fultz. Back to Suggs. The shot is good. Fultz making the play. Fultz has got his seventh assist here tonight. Well, the Bucks shooting a red-hot 63% in this game. I've heard coaches call Fultz the ultimate team guy. Sounds like a compliment, Doris. Oh, it absolutely is, B.A., and you have to give Markel Fultz a ton of credit. Here's a young man whose career started in as shaky a fashion as you could with the inability to shoot the basketball. He's turned himself into a legit threat as a scorer and a passer. Now here's Fultz. He's got seven. Outside Carter. Oh, and he blocks it off the glass. Wow. Oh, the long arms of Brook Lopez effortlessly sends that back. Here's Ana de Kumpo. Misses the baby hook. Just hasn't found much consistency from the floor, but his teammates have picked up the slack. Carter, a screen on Middleton. Suggs, the pass to Carter. On and a Kumpo with the block. And the ball goes out of bounds. Last. Pass to Ingles. Wagner with it. Middleton covering. And there's the slam dunk to finish it off. That's a hit. Joe Ingles is proving that as a passer, he is a special player. Lillard against Anthony. And here's Connaughton for three. It's hauled in by Isaac. Well, the defense clearly was not interested in guarding him from downtown. They're very fortunate he missed. A quick shot there. It's off target. And so Lillard will bring it up for the Milwaukee Bucks. 17 points was their biggest margin. Pass to Connaughton. Middleton outside. Connaughton with a screen on Isaac. And that's out of bounds. Milwaukee will retain possession. 143 left in the third quarter. And that one's good. Middleton. They are unconscious from outside. And so far, the defense has had no answer. Well, that's the whole point, isn't it? If you space the floor well enough, it's almost impossible for the defense to account for everyone. Here's Ben Carroll. Ben Carroll from close range. <laughs> you know, they're really being bullied right now defensively. Eight of the last 10 points have come from the inside. Crowder, a screen on Isaac. Middleton from the outside. And another three for Milwaukee. Now, if you're the defense, you can't allow Middleton to heat up out there. I mean, he can be so efficient from long range. 
17 foot shot on the way. That's good on the jumper. Dan Carroll's got 18 points in the game. And he's coming off a huge performance, and his confidence couldn't be any higher. And his coach knows that, too. Well, the best players to me deliver night after night after night. So as long as he's hot, keep riding it. Orlando has gotten four threes to fall out of five attempts here in the third. Pass to Anthony. Excellent D there from Payne. Two seconds separating the shot clock and the game clock. Now here's Crowder, guarded by Bancaro. Isaac against Middleton. Six to shoot. Tries the nine-footer. Here's Portis. And that one's good. A nice job on the glass as they picked up two on the second effort. Second chance points are always painful. Have to make the effort to box out. No doubt those extra possessions can really add. And that one's on target from the wing. And Carroll's got 18 points in just the second half. The Bucks trail. Now Beasley. Pass to Anadokounmpo. And it's Orlando with a rebound. Ben Carroll's got his sixth rebound on the night. Fultz with it. Back to Ben Carroll. Just five on the clock. Down low. And it's slammed in by Carter. And he's now got the double-double. There are no easy comebacks, but they really had to dig deep for this one. Yeah, to start off with so many mistakes and still now find a way where everything's working, it allows their momentum and confidence to continue to build. Here's Lopez to end the run. And he takes it up and lays it in. Oh, I love watching Brooke Lopez go to work. Superb at playing to his strengths down on the box. And Carroll with a screen on Lillard. Pass to Carter. To the middle. Here's Ben Carroll. Rebounded by Lopez. Lopez has got five rebounds in the game. This has been a close game in a lot of ways. But they do have an edge on the board. Good. And it's Lillard who picks up the assist. Lopez has got four points this quarter. Great idea by Lillard using that experience to run the offense. Anadokounmpo against Van Carroll. Lillard comes with a double. Van Carroll passes to Wagner. And out of bounds. The Bucks will take it. And so it's Lillard who brings up the ball for Milwaukee. 17 points was their biggest margin. Middleton from the outside. He drops it from range. And now a four-point Bucks lead. After an ice-cold start to this game, he is pouring it on here in the second half. Fultz with it. He's picked up by Lillard. Middleton against Van Carroll. Solid shot from a distance of about 14 feet. Van Carroll's got 31 points. Well, they're not behind because of this guy. He is putting on a tremendous run. Lopez, the screen on Fultz. Pass to Lopez. Let's it go from deep. Again gets it to go. He can't miss. Five for five. Doesn't matter what point of the game. Stress, pressure. Brooke Lopez makes it anyway. Fultz against Lillard. Fultz passes to Ben Carroll. Back to Fultz. Jacks up a three. The rebound by the Bucks. And stolen by Ben Carroll. Paolo with the attack. Oh my goodness, Ben ready for the bright lights in the big moment. Here's Anadokounmpo. That one's good for two. And the Bucks lead by five. <laughs> and he is just showing off right now. I mean, he's giving you leadership. Giannis just takes pride in stepping up and hitting those big shots. To the paint. And Carroll. 
Giannis with the rebound. Well, this is how you shut him down. A tremendous contest against a very skilled player. Beasley pass to Lillard. Lopez, the screen on Van Carroll. Middleton against Wagner. Beasley for three. That's good. And so Middleton with the assist. And now it's an eight-point Milwaukee lead. Unbelievable shooting down the stretch has them sitting pretty. Not a lot of time left for the Magic in this one. Down low. And stolen by Anadokupo. Tries the spin move. Beasley. Pass to Anadokupo. Back to Beasley. Pass to Lillard. Now Middleton. Clock at six. And he gets the bucket. You gotta give them respect. They're doing everything they can to close this out. Well, just terrific teamwork. Each guy doing his part. You love what you're seeing from them tonight. Inside. Oh, Ben Carroll throws it down. Well, if you're looking for an easy vertical threat at the cup, Paulo Boncaro, get out of his way. Here's Milwaukee. They're leading by eight. big lift from their crowd tonight giving them the energy they needed what an impressive performance to say the least at this point it looks insurmountable and that replay courtesy of the eight and a comeback here looking very unlikely absolutely everything would have to go their way at this point carter from outside milwaukee with the rebound just let the clock run out hey it's time to celebrate Lillard against Fultz. Lillard outside. So this one belongs to the Bucks. A clean win, and one where they clearly showed better energy. Yeah, so true. They put on a show here at home. And I really think they had that extra swagger and confidence, too. All right, let's send it.